Hey guys, it's KJ48, and welcome back to my RimWorld Let's Play. This is Alpha 8, we're on Season 2, and this is Part 8. Um, I have not made a video for this in quite a while. I have been having trouble finding time to get these videos up on YouTube because I've got so, so many other Let's Plays going. But I did miss this game, so I'm going to get back into it. But one of the nice things about not recording for a while is you guys gave me a lot of great things to think about and a lot of great tips. Okay, first thing I did was I came on here and I messed around with some of the priorities here. Um, DJ Quad is going to be my doctor. He's also a cooker, a hunter, and miner. Um, those are his uh, things. I wonder if I should put him on construction as well. I think I'm going to leave him off construction. Then we have Lord Terror. Now, I have quite a problem with Lord Terror. He is good at so many things. Um, thank God he's not a doctor or a warden. But he's good at construction. He's good at repairing. He's good at growing. Mining. Uh, not good at plant cutting, but I do need some plant cutters. So maybe I'll take him off plant cutting. Yeah, let's take him off plant cutting. Is there anyone else who's good at plant cutting? No, actually, I don't have anyone good at plant cutting. Wow. <laughs> My uh, guys are not the best plant cutters. Okay, so, all right, we'll leave that alone for now. Um, DTC is my warden. He's also going to repair. Can, I have repair here uh, for a couple people because repairing is very important. But, uh... Actually, are those my best repair guys? Yes, okay. So, but if nothing needs to be repaired, they'll just go on to the next task, so it's not a big deal. Um, so DTC is also going to be a constructor and a hauler. I don't think he's really good at anything else. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So we got Jude here. Jude is going to be a constructor. We've got a lot of construction projects we're going to be doing today, so um, he's the best miner. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And uh, he will also do some plant cutting. And then Jupiter is going to just be a hauler. It doesn't look like Jupiter's really that good at anything specifically. I'm just looking through here. No, nah, he's, he's not good at anything. Uh, he's a good warden. Um, DTC is also a good warden. I'll, I'll leave DTC on warden. Um, but he's going to be my hauler. And also a researcher. But we got to haul first. Alright, I've been getting a lot of good tips from you guys, and I'm going to try and enact as many of them as I can as quickly as I can. One thing that people were bringing to my attention that never occurred to me that is really true, and I gotta take a look at it, is right here, this, um, this room will continue heating up. Right there, you can see it's 106 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, this room will continue heating up, and it doesn't have anywhere for the heat to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a little, like, a little exhaust thing here for the heat to dissipate and go outside. I didn't think about that. Yeah, I mean, um, if the room's encased, then yeah, that's going to be a problem. Um, one other thing is I have a stockpile right here, which is only for meals. Now, meals stack up to 10. Uh, you're not going to have a ton of meals. So what people were telling me, and it's another great point, is this, uh, uh, this stockpile is way too big. So we're going to go ahead and delete that stockpile. And we are going to go to zone. We'll make a stockpile right here. And we'll make it about that big. All right. And we'll come over here. Uh, clear all foods and meals. There we go. Okay. So that makes that, that gives us a little bit more space. Right here, this stockpile was for raw food. Um, you know what? We're not going to have that much raw food either. I can't imagine, like, having that much raw food. So let's delete that. And th this raw food can stack quite a bit, I believe. We're going to have to keep an eye on these stockpiles. Uh, so let's just have that for the raw food. That's probably actually bigger than we even need, but, um, that's all right. Well, maybe we should make it smaller. You know, let's make it smaller. I'm going to, I'm going to do some, uh, you know, some experimenting here. Let's just have that for raw food. Because, I mean, the raw food's getting cooked into meals, like, pretty much right away. So, I can't imagine it's going to be a problem. We'll keep an eye on it, though. We'll keep an eye on it. All right. Clear all. And raw food. Meats. Yeah, everything. Now, another thing people were talking about is I need to take my kills, you know, my uh, muffalo kills, and they need to go in the refrigerator. Makes sense, don't it? I don't, you know. Um... So, we're going to put that right here. And we will go to this stockpile and we will clear all. And then we need to look for corpses. 
Humanoid animal corpses. There we go. So now animal corpses should come in here and be refrigerated. Um, 28 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, food is frozen. Uh, that should be pretty good. While we're here, let's give them an order to mine this out. I'm thinking like this would be pretty cool. The problem is I mined so much in here that this whole area is a waste. I could have just had a little area right here and then had an exhaust going outside. But here's the thing. Because I mined all this out, I found the steel. So no harm, no foul, right? Alright, so someone else was saying I need a dining room, and yeah, that's true, I do need a dining room. I'll probably make some kind of dining room over here, but for now, they can eat inside. I don't think it, it'll affect their mood that they're eating in the same room where stuff gets cooked. I don't think it really matters, so that can stay for now. Some other people were lamenting that I have people sharing rooms when I shouldn't, and that's a good point. So let's come right here and deconstruct that bed. And uh, a lot of people are saying to come and like get everyone in here. Okay, I don't want everyone in here. I want to be able to have some people outside. Now, I've got four bedrooms right here, and I was going to make these four bedrooms for prisoners and maybe uh, hospitals or something, but I changed my mind. I'm going to have the hospitals and uh, prisoners stuff over here, and I'm going to have four bedrooms right here, okay? Only four bedrooms, okay? And what I want for these bedrooms is I want people who are good at fighting, to live in these these four bedrooms. Let's see who we have that's good at fighting. I don't think we have much, but let's see. Character, okay. Um, obviously DJ Quad's great at fighting. Uh, no, no, no. If they have a shooting skill of five or more, I'm gonna assume it, I'm gonna, if they have a shooting skill of five or more, I'm gonna assume that means they're good at fighting and I'm gonna put them in one of these bed, one of these bedrooms. Um, if I don't have enough bedrooms over here, then I will put non-fighting personnel over here until I have the proper bedrooms over here. But the idea is I want my fighters here, so if I get attacked at night, they can just gear up and get out there and, and fight. Does that have any uh, any um, effect on the game? No. It's kind of more like a role-playing thing, and I kind of like the idea. So, man, I got a lot to talk about. So another thing people were saying is that um, when I had enemies dropping on my area... They said that they took the enemies took my health kits and healed themselves, my medicine. And if that's true, that pisses me off. <laughs> um, basically, the idea is I don't want my stockpiles out here, uh, and I need to. I want to get all the stockpiles inside, but that's probably not feasible. But for now, I at least want to get the medicine out of there. So what I need to do is I need to I need to find a bedroom that is going to be um, my first. Oh God, look at all this! Look at all this steel. Hold on. I need a bedroom that is going to be my first, um, uh, my first medical room in here. And I'm thinking this will be my first medical room right here. Uh, we can't do much in here. Well, we can. Hold on. Let's get some, uh, power. No, no, not power. Uh, temperature. And let's get the cooler in here. Turn it around. And get one right here as well. And then we will get some furniture. And we will put some doors in there. Some wood automatic doors. Okay. And we will delete this right there. And um, I think that's pretty good for now. Uh, okay, so if this is going to be a medical room, I'll make both of these medical rooms. What you need by these medical rooms is medicine. You want medicine to be around here. So let me think about how I want to do this. Okay, this is not the best build in the world. It's a little sloppy, but I think it's gonna work. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a little area back here that's going to be a uh, stockpile and all my medicine will go back here. I can fit two beds in each of these so I can put two beds here, two beds here, and they'll have the medicine here. So that way when my doctors wanna heal the guys I have uh, you know, that need healing, they don't have to like run so far. It'll make it a lot easier to like heal my guys. So I think we're looking pretty good. Let's uh, let's start this sucker up and uh, see what people are doing. What are you doing, DTC? I was going to chat with the prisoner. I'm still trying to recruit Josh. Let's take a look at Josh's thoughts. His mood is... I'm not... To, to be perfectly honest, I'm not going to try and pretend I know this. Oh, his mood's 100%. Okay. So that's got to be good, right? 
Um, let's see his prisoner. His recruitment difficulty is 90, 94. That's pretty bad. We'll, we're going to let him work on that. Uh, DJ Quad is mining. Jupiter, what are you doing? He's going to be researching. Why is he not hauling? Why aren't you hauling? There's plenty of stuff to be hauled. Let's recruit him. And then unrecruit him. No, he's still going to... Wait. Hauling is one. Researching is two. There's stuff to be hauled. There's a lot of stuff to be hauled. That's... That's actually quite odd. That he wants to research instead of haul. I'm not quite sure why he wants to research instead of haul. To be honest. Let's just turn off his researching. Now what's he going to do? Cleaning. Oh! Okay. Okay. This is another tip that somebody gave me. This is why he's not hauling. He doesn't have anywhere to put the stuff. Um, my hauling thing is full. Not only is it full, but it's all the way over here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make a hauling area closer so they don't have to be running halfway across the world. Um, oh, good. I'm so glad you guys gave me that tip. That was really good. I just thought of it, but man, really helped me. Okay, so... No, no, no. Actually, we need to do a dumping stockpile. There we go. Now he should haul. Let's recruit him. If you ever change like something, like put down somewhere for them to haul, and they seem to be doing something else, recruit them and unrecruit them. It'll kind of like reset them. There he goes. Now he's hauling. Oh, so good. All right, good. All right, so DJ Quad's mining. Let's see what everybody's doing. Lord Terror, what are you doing? You are building? Okay. What are you building? Oh, that's right. I had more turrets going up. Okay. Oh, that's another thing for research. We need to get... Oh. Oh, what are you building? Oh, I think I know what he's building. He's building mortars. That's right. Okay. I have no idea how to use mortars, so it should be pretty interesting when we get attacked. Which is going to be... Oh my goodness. A loco boar has gone mad. Okay. Are you mad? You mad, bro? Alright. You're going to kill that boar. Wait, why aren't you... Why isn't he... Cannot hit target. Fire. Oh man, Lord Terror is going to destroy this boar. Oh, he's being interrupted. Okay. Um... DTC's got a knife? No, he's got a gun. Okay. Get over here, DTC. Get out of here, Lord Terror. Oh, he's gonna shoot Lord Terror. Oh, owned. Okay, you gotta clean that up. Okay, um, we got the eight men coming in. Let's see what we got. All right, looks like um, four guys here. All right, so we got um, this guy's got a pistol. This guy's got an M24 sniper rifle. Sniper rifle. Three of them got sniper rifles. Okay, wait, are they building a base? Oh crap! I X that out. So now I don't know what they're doing. They're building mortars. They're building mortars. Are my mortars done? Is this done? I can't tell. No, that's a blueprint. Oh my god. Alright, you know what? Basically, what they're going to do with those mortars is they're going to attack us from like a mile away. And that's a problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to recruit all our guys. And we're going to rush in. Man, that's annoying. Now, I think I could fight them back with my own mortars, but the problem with that is um, I don't... They're not set up, so... Can you hit them from here, Jupiter? No, he's got a pistol. Behind that tree. DTC. I don't think trees offer any... Oh god, they're shooting at me. Sniper rifles, I forgot. Okay. 
You need to get out of cup. You need to get out of there. DTC, stop. There we go. This guy's gonna run at us, which is fine. Lord Terror. I really don't want to lose any of my guys. My guys are all really, really powerful. Um, where's DJ Quad? Put DJ Quad right there. Okay. Lord Terror, can you hit him? Alright, well he's gonna fire at him. I don't know if he's gonna hit him. Nope, he didn't hit shit. <laughs> oh, Lord Terror's dead. Damn it! Come on, come on. Man, nobody's hitting anything. Not even my not even my good guy. Alright, you're gonna Well he's he's shooting at him, so I'll just let these two guys, you know. Okay, come on. Oh my god, that's a death trap right there. Well, this might be the end of my game. That's a shame. No, don't go around that way. Damn it. Stay where you are. Oh, Jupiter, get out of there. Yeah, these guys, I'm not even touching these guys. Even DJ Quad can't hit him. I'm gonna just run in. Screw it. Alright, you're gonna run in, bro. Oh, come on. Stop. Wait, why isn't he running in? Right click? Yeah, right click. Oh god, you can't hit anything, Jude. Alright, you're down. Alright, Jupiter, you're going in. Yeah, my guys can't hit anything. Just run up. Screw you're dead anyway, Jupiter. Actually, don't run in front of his stuff. Sieging pirates from the eight men are assaulting the colony. Yeah, what's new? Alright, the other guy's running away, Jupiter. Everyone needs to get on that guy. Who needs rescue? Oh, yeah, I know. I know he needs rescue. We'll get him. Okay. So, one person died. If we could save DTC, then I will be fine with this setup. Um, Alright, let's... Uh, F. I wish I could have saved somebody. F. Yeah, I know I know you're hurt, Jupiter. Just relax, dude. Um, F. 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 Basically, F is allowing me to carry this stuff back with me. F. F. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I can't take too much stuff back. It'll take forever. Um, F. 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 You are going to... You're all going to be unrecruited. Or undrafted, I should say. Wait, did I lose two people? No, I had five. I had five and now I have four. If we could save DTC. Or DJ Quad, sorry. No, that's DTC. Okay, good. All right. Not that I want DTC to die, but um, if I had to lose someone, I'd rather him. All right, rescue. All right, we didn't get our mortars up quick enough. We could have, we could have fought like their mortars against our mortars, you know. F F. All 
All right, I think we need to turn. Uh, let's see, what's this? This is a uh, uh, that's Jude's bed. That's DTC's bed, but he's gonna he's gonna need hospital hospitalization. So let's turn this one into a medical bed. No, 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 no. Put him there. Where's he going? No, he's gonna try and put him in this, in this bed. There we go. Okay. Now, who do we have that's left as a doctor? Uh, well, DJ Quad's still our doctor. Okay, so where's DJ Quad? Um, DJ Quad. Actually, DTC got knocked down, but he's he looks to be better off than Jupiter. Let's take a look at Jupiter. Uh, Jupiter. Uh, oh, he got shot. Okay. He's got some blood loss. DTC. Oh, they're... Oh, God. Oh, God. DTC got his leg blown off. Jesus. That's rough, dude. Alright, where's DJ Quad? I don't see him anywhere. DJ Quad, DJ Quad. Oh, he's sleeping. Get up! Are you serious? Go heal Jupiter. See? You see how far he's got to go for the for the medicine? That's a problem. That's a problem. Okay. So, oh, Jupiter's up already? Jupiter, why aren't you resting? What is he doing? Eating from packaged survival meal. No, 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 no. Eat over here. Eat. Ugh, you can't eat over here? Oh, well. Let him do what he's going to do. All right, you need to heal. Oh, he's already doctoring DTC. Okay. I don't know where he's going. Oh, God. They're putting out... Jude, get the hell out of there. Okay, so there's a huge fire over here. So what we're going to do is, we're going to let it burn. We're going to forbid everything. Is there anything else to forbid? I don't know. I can't really tell. It looks like stuff's burned up. Jupiter, just get the freaking M, get the sniper rifle, and forget everything else. The local squirrel has gone mad. All right, I'm not gonna worry about that for now. All right, DJ Quad are uh, feeding DTC. Okay. Now what are you doing? Feeding simple mail to Jude. No, no, no. Heal DTC. Heal DTC. Can you heal him? Nope. Rest until fully healed. Prioritize healing DTC. There you go. What the hell's going on over here? It sounds like something's attacking something, but I can't tell. Oh! The squirrel. Okay. Oh, he's trying to get Jude. Why is Jude sleeping in here? Jude, there's nothing wrong with Jude. Oh, he's a little burned. Who cares, man? Alright, DJ Quad. You need to come over here and shoot that squirrel. Oh, jeez, he's going for Jude. Jude, wake up. Get out of there. Get this, just turn on the freaking turrets. Should have done this in the first place. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. 
All right, guys. So we got some stuff done, but I I think I'm falling behind on the power here. I think I need to make mortars earlier in the game. And uh, other than that, I don't know. I think I did okay. Uh, I can't really tell. Um, my strategic uh, attacks um, on other pl on the uh, the enemies are uh, you know not great. I, like I don't know how much cover a tree really gives. You know. Um, I put people up behind rocks, and they just got killed in like a second. So, you know, maybe it was just a tough, maybe it was just a tough, uh, a tough attack. So, anyway, that's gonna do it for part eight. We'll see you next time for part nine. Till then, take it easy.